We are rocking. We are rolling, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> I cut in on you there. You were going to do a cool, a cool intro. I could feel it. I was just going to say live. Live. It's alive. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Welcome to Big Talk Caffeinated and Opinionated, everyone who's watching us right now. My name is Lee. My name is Matt. And that makes Big Talk. That's, yes, it, you, it know, does. you know, the drill now. Anyway, we are hosting Big Talk Caffeinated and Opinionated. I think it's number 10, the Big 10 0. That's 100, the Big 1 0. <coughs> the Big 1 0, yeah. yeah. Where we talk about things that we don't really know much about and kind of puzzle through them. Most of the time, it's um, quite uh, pessimistic towards the end. We, we end on a low note. But then last week, we, uh, we, we, we had a really positive ending, didn't we? We did. We had a lovely chat with, with our chum, with our yeah. chum Will, Will Valley of Camelmoon.com. And uh, we got really, really positive towards the end. And I didn't know what to do with myself, did I, Matt? I had to, I had to just go, ah! <laughs> End end the recording. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We just had to. Um, bye. Uh, see yeah. ya. Life it's is like no power. Power. Bye. <laughs> yeah, but it it got me ah. thinking. It got me thinking. Man. So okay, we had we had this big talk about what if God would come back, and um, we basically turned it around to say, life is what you make it, and um, you know, be good to each other you can make it mm -hmm. um and that got me thinking about life and things been on mm. quite been on quite a positive tip for the past couple of past couple of days since we spoke to will and oh. i wanted to i wanted to i wanted to hit a big big question i mean they're all big questions but sort of one of the biggest questions of our mm -hmm. of, of you know being human and everything like that just to commemorate us getting to 10 um so mm. Let's just, just get into it. What, just, what, what is the meaning of life, Matt? That's what I want to talk about today. What is the meaning of life? Yeah. Um, 42. No, 42, um, yeah. And uh, the thing with that, that was brilliant because like, so many people got into it, didn't they? So obviously we're talking about Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy at the moment, aren't we? Yes. And everyone, you, you know, you obviously get your fan, your fan theories for everything. Because, you know, people love their media and they want to try and be on the same page to, mm. uh, to, uh, to pun it up a little bit as the author. And there were so many fan yeah. theories that it had a lot to do with like um, maths and this and that. And I think there's so many art articles where it's just been like, I, did, I just said it. I just did it. <laughs> well, hang on. Well, don't they? Uh, was this at the time? I think it's been at the time over he was writing again. the books. Like over, well, when he was writing the books, he goes, "Yeah, I just kind of thought about." It. I think he had a conversation with his mate or something. It was either he had a conversation with his mate, and like forty-two was just such a nonchalant number. He was like, "Yeah, that'll do." These people weren't paying attention <laughs> because it's literally a joke <laughs> in, yeah. the, in the story. Because mm. that's the answer, there, and then they work out the the question, mm. like. If for people who haven't read or seen Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, because mm. I don't mean the movie, yeah, because the movie doesn't actually address this really. But oh, so the, I'm one the, of those people, Matt. I'm one of those people. Oh, you've seen the movie? I've only seen the movie. Oh, dude, watch this. So I haven't read the books, mm. but I have watched the TV series mm. from like the eighties. Okay, and that TV series is great. Hmm. Like it's such a fun it's like a, it's just a mini series really because hmm. the books but it covers all the books I think because there's a couple isn't there there's like two or three three maybe there's talking up my arse um, obviously I think there's th I think there's three there's three or four hmm. so I'm not entirely sure either but hmm. I just remember this I remember I watched the series so here's the thing right we had um at my dad's place, mm. we had them on on um, on video. We had them like recorded mm. on VHS. Oh, back in the day, eh? Back in the day, and we had all of them except the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
we were on this cliffhanger for forever, basically. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I think then we finally, well, I think my dad had seen it, but I hadn't. Right. But I used to love the city. I'd watch it all the way up until that last, before the last episode. Just like, ah, oh, this is so good. Mm. Such a great show. And then mm. finally we got them on DVD mm-hmm. and watched it through to the last episode. And it was yeah. just like, oh, it's just, oh, it's just a complete picture. Yeah. Um, but yeah, for ages, I was one of maybe a fan theory guy thinking, well, what's the question? Mm. If the answer's 42, what's the question? Right. And then in the last episode, they answer that. Ah, okay. And, it, and it's, and it's a, a joke. It's a whole yeah. joke, man. Yeah. Interesting. But so yeah, I, think, I recommend, yeah. I recommend okay. watching that sh- series. Well, there we are. To everyone. You've heard it here first. Read the book and all the books and all the uh, TV show, and you'll get a, an understanding mm. of the meaning of life. Yeah. Well, read, uh, read the TV show. Yeah. Well, uh, that that's it then. Uh, see you later, everyone. Bye. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> <laughs>
had a bottle of very cheap champagne each. We're all making toasts. We're all hugging. Hmm. We're we're chatting to people on the boat. We're having a great time. Carl throws off at the up uh, throws up off the end of the boat. I thought he just went down mm-hmm. there to be pensive for a while, but no, he just chimed in. <laughs> and um, <laughs> but but then obviously in the morning the inevitable hangover comes, doesn't it? I think that's um, well. I mean that incident's sort of both because we've mm-hmm. got the drinks, mm-hmm. but we've also got because I mean. I mean, that's, that's not so much pleasure as it is. That's more, that's more meaningful, I think. Yeah. Cause it's, it's our friend. It's our mm-hmm. good friend, Carl. Mm-hmm. He's getting married. Mm-hmm. We're there. Mm-hmm. We're all together. Mm. Like I've been, I like, I mean, for, I don't know. Maybe I'm, it's clouded a bit, maybe by my sentimentality. Like I'd been away for a while. Well, I had, and I'm like I'd been away for um, I don't know, about six months. ages, about six. Yeah, months about been six, away. it was about six months at that point. Yeah, and um, and we're all together, and we're mm. having a great time, mm. like good friends mm. on a boat with mm. champagne, celebrating a big life event. Mm-hmm. That goes beyond like pleasure. Mm. That's like that's like a that's meaning. Okay. But again, I think, well, you mix pleasure with meaning mm. and, and you get, you get the it. hangover. Yeah, mm. you get the hangover at the end, but it's still, there's still a lot of positivity that comes from that mm. and what that meant to everyone there. Mm. Whereas, let's say, um, let's go to... Oh, let's, uh, I'll just do an example from, from myself. Like I had a night out. So before we spoke to uh, Will. Oh the yeah. Other day, <laughs> um, we'd both been, I think we'd both been out, hadn't we? Full disclosure. We were hung over on that call, ladies and gentlemen. Big talk number nine, right. we were hung over. <laughs> right. So I, yeah, well, I, um, I got in at 6am mm-hmm. and we were recording at 11. Mm-hmm. So but I went out with uh, a couple of, of mates and it was mostly, it was mostly like one dude trying to get laid. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> like, like it was, it was one dude trying to get laid. Yeah. And I don't really, I mean, that's not really my thing. I don't really like go out and that's not why I go out. I go out to kind of like chill and meet people and enjoy mm-hmm. myself. Mm-hmm. rather than to put my my thing in in a thing in a thing yeah so yeah my thing in a thing <laughs> so it was like so that was um it was all right it wasn't a, i didn't have a horrible time i had quite a good time hmm. but i left before he did mm-hmm. because i was just like kind of kind of bored hmm. right and it was like, I'm, I was quite happy, happily drinking, happily having a good time chatting. And I'm just like, I'm, nah, this is, I'm bored of this now. Yeah. This isn't really, it's not really. Um, it's not serving you, is it? It's not serving, yeah, it's not serving me any. So I just left. Hmm. And like, I don't, I don't really take anything away from that night, really. Hmm. And that was, um, well, that was a matter of days ago. That was like four, four or five days ago. Yeah. Carl, Carl's stag was last was more than a year ago. About 18 months, yeah. About 18 months ago. Yeah, and I can still look on it with, with fond memories. That was a fantastic night. We're all there. Oh, yeah. we're, all, we're all cheersing. We're all making up toasts and hugging mm. and taking pictures and... Well, like that whole thing, like that that night and the Sparty. Oh God, yeah, the Sparty. The Sparty was filth. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I, t- I had to take myself home, didn't I? I got too drunk and I had to mm. take myself home. I was, I was like, uh, in no way, shape, or form, am I going to be the guy who gets carried home? We must only be <laughs> carrying home Carl. So I need to take myself out of this situation before I never <laughs> ever live this down. Yeah, <laughs> got, got a, yeah, I've got to go to KFC. And then go back to bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, could, but we could, no, we stuck around. And, yeah, yeah, but we stuck around, mm. and and we had a, a a great time. It was just it's it's just fun, it's just really really fun. Mm. Being in a spa, watching the 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 insanity around us. Oh yeah, having having a few bevies, having a dance. Yeah, it was great. It mm. was great fun. Okay, and again, so, that's 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 meaning as well as uh, yeah. So is is happiness then? Is happiness pleasure with meaning? Because I said pleasure is fleeting, but all emotions are fleeting, aren't they? Like even like you know negative emotions like anger. Like if you were pissed off with me, like I stole your <coughs> shoes, right? Uh-huh. I stole your shoes. Yep. Now they're your nice shoes, right? And I've stolen them away. Now you're going to be cross with me when you find out mm-hmm. I've stolen them. You're going to be cross with me when you see me the next time and you, you come to talk to me about the shoes. But I bet a penny to a pound of shit, to coin a, a vulgar term, is mm-hmm. not going to be consistently angry with no other emotions between those two times. Say so it's like 24 hours. You'll come back to it a lot, but you're not always going to have that emotion, are you? So all, all emotions are fleeting, aren't they? Sure. So is so ha- so pleasure is fleeting, but happiness is fleeting as well. But so then is happiness pleasure with meaning then? Um, I don't know. I don't know what happiness is really. Maybe it is. Maybe it is pleasure with meaning. Hmm. Maybe so. But hmm. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say meaning is always positive. Oh no. No, I think meaning is like um, meaning just is what it is. Yeah, which is so so definitive. I know, yeah, such a definitive answer to that. Well, maybe that's <laughs> what, what is what meaning. Meaning is, is is maybe that that's why this question hasn't been answered yet. You know what is because that is what is the meaning of that. Mm. yes, mm. yes. And I don't know. So here's a, here's the thing. I don't know that uh, if you could find a consistent meaning of life, hmm. because it, it's going to vary from person to person in a way. Hmm. Like you can look at. I mean, bringing up objectivity again, but you can look at it from a basis of like science mm-hmm. and evolution. Mm-hmm. And what is what is the meaning of a creature's existence? Well, it's mm-hmm. to propagate its species. Mm-hmm. Something that we're extraordinarily good at. Mm-hmm. But you gotta think like if that was if that was a definitive meaning of life, no one would be gay. Yeah. You can't get a kid mm-hmm. out of a of a homosexual relationship. Yeah. Which doesn't mean that it's it's like invalid or anything, but it just it does fly in the face of that. Yeah, a little it just, bit. It just says that that's not the meaning of life, effectively yeah. for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. Exactly. I don't think anyone could disagree with you on that. So there's a yeah. So there's a difference then. So it's it's something that that science actually can't answer. Mm. Which is why there's still religion probably in the mm. world mm. right so we've got we've got two strains there right so i thought of two things there you, you're helping okay. me out with this matt i reckon we're going to work it out by the end of two hours i'm sure we are oh my word <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first yeah they always do matt they always do right yeah. so we've got two things there right so science science can't work it out can it but it can work out what it's not Okay. It might it might get us a little bit closer to our answer. All right. What 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 is it not in that case? Right. So it's not necessarily um, having kids because not everyone, for one, not everyone wants kids. Um, right. Be that from an ethical standpoint or a personal standpoint, or mm. or is is you know what's the, what's the word for for a a jagged term, sort of like sexually incapable of having children. Not I, don't know, I don't know. I don't know if sexually. I don't know if sexually incapable would. would I, I just mean people wanting one. No, that's what I'm saying. 
so it's it's not to have kids what i was going to say is that wh while you may be you know homosexual or even asexual you still might want a child mm. but it, yeah. it it takes out that the meaning of life is to have children mm. well it's it's <clears throat> yeah i mean yeah people don't want kids for a variety of reasons yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so i mean i think well it's it's because in some cases they they want to further their own they want to further other goals because mm -hmm. the thing about having a child is time consuming a it's incredibly bit, yeah. time consuming yep financially it's incredibly <laughs> yeah it's, it's it's it consumes your time mm -hmm. your money um I imagine mainly, it will well, your, be, time, your, your time and your money. <laughs> oh well, definitely your energy. Yeah. yeah. Um, it uh, it can have an effect on your body, mm -hmm. particularly if you're having the children. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, yep. I said, well, it definitely has an effect on your body if you're the one having the children. Yeah, but there are and and people rationalise it as well. There's too many people in the world already. Mm. Or um, or people just don't like kids. There are people that just do not like kids. Yep. Like I know there's um, someone I, uh, the girlfriend of someone I worked with in uh, Budapest mm. said like, I'd rather have a cat than a baby. I mean, it's definitely going to be easier. I, I'll, I'll give you that. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, it is going to be easier. Um, yeah. And... Uh, yeah, I found that slightly horrifying. Yeah, <laughs> but and I think that her her uh, her boyfriend knew that I found because this is someone I'd I'd kind of sort of debated slash triggered before. Right. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so when he when she said that, and I and he's I think he saw the look on my face and he started talking about space with me. Right. And I was like. I see what you're doing. Yeah. And I do want to talk about space more than yeah. <laughs> your girlfriend not wanting to have kids. Yeah. But um, it was like, there be sea serpents there. Don't go there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. On the, yeah. On the big map. There be dragons yeah. there. Don't go there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it was, yeah. And it's like, it's probably going to derail the night. And the yeah. night's only just started. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So don't go there. Big tour. Going in with the big questions wherever they go. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, there's, there's, there's just people out there that don't want them. And mm. that's, you know, that's your choice. It's up to you. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's so that says immediately that definitively it's not children. No. It's not propagating the species. No. I mean, you so know, it's not that. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what else do we, we get from like evolution? So we've got, we've, we've got to this place by evolving from, you know, amoebas. Mm. And that was largely by being stronger, better at finding food than the other guy, I guess. Sure. Hmm. Well, that's, I think that ties into people wanting a career and tying into people wanting the drive that people have to do what it is they do. Mm. Like you look at the leaders of like the, um, like the FTSE 100 mm. companies and you look at like CEOs and you look at even, I mean, even presidents, like you look mm. at people who like rise to the very, very, very top of whatever. These are people who work for a hundred hours a week, who barely mm. sleep, who live mm. and breathe what they do. Which is why there's not that many of them, because mm. yeah, 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 because that's insanity. Mm -hmm. Like I can't imagine doing that, and yeah. and like I'm I'm someone who, like I, I I when whenever I've sort of addressed whenever I've taught business students and we've looked at work life balance. Mm. I've looked at mine <laughs> it makes me sort of evaluate mine and go like Jesus mine is not great mm. 
because it's like I'm working one full time job and writing, which is another full time job mm-hmm. that doesn't pay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> really. And it's just, but one that will pay, and it's the one that I'm more passionate about. But I enjoy the other one, and so I'm working, sort of, sort of. I don't know. Probably between sixty and eight and and eighty eight hour weeks. Mm-hmm. As it is. So, you but right. So you said you you wouldn't work hundred hours a week, but you're getting pretty close because you're doing two jobs at the moment. Would would you would you work sixty to hour sixty to eighty or even a hundred hours a week to get to where you want to be as a writer if you had that time? So let's just say I'm like we're we're back in the olden days, right? And I'm like this mm-hmm. this wealthy benefactor, and I'm like Matt, I'm gonna I'm gonna pay you until you've written a, a big classic book that will be remembered for all the ages. Mm. You, you're your sort of your standard lifestyle is covered you can't be buying any jets yet or any boats but yeah. you know i'll keep you comfy i'll get you a nice place to to rest your head a nice place to write you'll be able to eat and drink and talk to you know other authors and, and really focus on your craft mm. would you would you work 100 hours then would you yeah. work 100 hours on that oh uh, yeah yeah mm. absolutely so I think the thing is like get into it's the thing is get into the point where I can spend that see if I can spend I don't know let's say it's 60 hours mm. if I can spend like 40 of those 60 hours mm. on on writing mm-hmm. And not, that's not just on writing, it's on writing and networking and yeah. promotion and all it's the hours of being that, a writer. Yeah, well, it's, it, it, it would be... In all that it encompasses to be a published author. Yeah. Everything. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 I get you. Because at the moment, it's like doing that and being... And, and other things mm-hmm. as well that you need yeah. to do to be a human. Yeah. Like socialise... <laughs> and mm-hmm. exercise and mm-hmm. and and have some time for yourself like it's difficult to do all of that at once mm-hmm. so it's partly why i'm returning to the uk but i mean yeah. it's it it's um yeah i think if, if you're passionate about something you will strive to be the best at it you can be and i would hazard a guess that those 60 80 100 hours i mean 100 hours that's pushing it that's probably going to be Mm. bad for you overall but let's say Mm. you know the average work week is let's say 50 hours because it's 40 hours back home i imagine if you're Mm. especially committed to that line of work whatever that line of work may be you might be making you know tables and chairs you might just really want to be a carpenter that'd be fucking cool to do by the way i'd love to make a table but um <laughs> so you're doing 50 hours a week you're doing 50 hours a week on being an author and everything that yeah. entails that's writing that's talking to publishers that's talking to other writers that's getting your name out there that's honing your craft everything like that it's not probably it's not going to feel like work as much is it no you're going to have Probably come not. away from it feeling like work. So this isn't necessarily your job anymore. Mm. Like, it's like, what do you do for work? Well, I, I, don't really, I don't really have something that I call work. I've got something that feels like a, a purpose sort of thing. Mm. What I do with my day, I, I'm, I'm a, you know, I, I write fiction. I tell mm. stories to people. So it's going to mm-hmm. feel less like work and more like a, I don't know, maybe purpose is, is a strong word, but maybe it'd be more like a lifestyle. Yeah. It? And one that you're paid to engage with. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, by definition, then it would be a job. Hmm. It'd be, I'm, I'm an author. I'm a, I'm a storyteller. Yeah, I'm but you can artist. reframe it however you want. It's not going to feel like work, is it? People can say no. that's a job, but, mm. and while you will be working, in closed brackets 
as hard as anyone else to do that, it's going to feel mm. less like work. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, you've got to, if you frame it in a way that's not going to make whoever you're talking to about it hate you and think you're a hippie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, what do you do for work? Well, I don't really think of it as work. You're, no. you're worried about sounding like a wanky <laughs> art guy, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, mainly because mainly I'm not a wanky art guy. Allegedly, ladies and gentlemen. In my opinion. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> yet yeah <laughs> yeah basically but i mean i reckon like because we've spoke about this a couple of times you I, I don't know if you coined the phrase yourself matt or you 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 sort of found it somewhere but the crabs the crabs pulling you back into the bucket yeah that's uh so that's you, an old that's an old phrase i believe you don't even need to necessarily be a wanky art guy when you're saying you're a writer. You know, you go back, you go back home for a year, you focus on your mm. writing, you get the third book out, you get, you know, perhaps even the second book out of your sci-fi stuff. And maybe, you, you know, you go into networking events, or not even networking events, just meeting new people. Oh, what do you do? And you're, you're a writer and you're doing all this, this cool shit and you've got all these stories. There's going to be people that are really happy for you and you don't need to be pretentious about it, but there's going to be people that fucking hate you for that. Probably. You know, yeah. so you don't even have to be a wanky art person. People are going to hate, pe- haters going to hate that. That's another old saying. Mm, there are always people who are going to want to tear you down. Yeah. So fuck them. Fuck them. Be, <laughs> be a wanky art guy. Don't be a wanky art guy. There will be people like that, won't there? Mm. That was just an aside, really. Hate is going to hate. Yeah. But anyway, right. So, we're, no, we're, no, we're not really close in that. Or we might be. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm well, we, we touched on something. Because mm. you'd think, like, maybe it's to just to be the best version of yourself. Let's say that's the meaning of life. Be the best version of yourself you can be. Right. Hmm. Now, immediately, that's sort of like, oh, like it kind of makes sense. And then you think of people who, who fall short immediately. Because mm. that's a really, because that's a really, really difficult thing to do. And it's not something that, poten- that particularly leads to, it's something that doesn't necessarily lead to like pleasure and but does it and lead to pleasure with meaning, Matt? Well, it might. You know, being the best version of yourself. Who, if, if I asked you who you was, because I think that's really, really good. I think that's a really nice way of putting it. I think I'd be hard-pressed to, or anyone would be hard-pressed to argue you that mm. the meaning of life is, you know, to be the best version of you, because that's pretty much all you can do, really, isn't it? You can't be mm. the best version of someone else, or you could try. But um, you're going to have to take on all their their qualities and their and their failings, whatever they may be. Mm. But yeah. um, oh fuck, I forgot where I was going with this. I had something going there. Right, best version of yourself. Um, no, fucking lost it. No. Keep well, it's going. Too, it's very, Keep going. It's oh no, very... pleasure with meaning. Pleasure with meaning. There pleasure we with are. meaning. Right. Thanks, okay. Laura. <laughs> <laughs> So being the best version of yourself is not necessarily going to well, I'd, I'd, The only bit that I would argue is it probably would bring you pleasure. Uh, but, but pleasure. I mean, would, eventually, but I mean, yeah. it, would, it, would, it, would, it would also involve a lot of struggle. I think that's part of the human condition, though, isn't it, Matt? Mm, yes. That's definitely part of the human condition. We, we have got here through struggle. We are, mm. we're, we're here today. All of us are here today. Because, you know, a long, long time back in, in the past, you know, be it 100 years ago, 200 years ago, 1,000 years ago, you know, your four fa- fathers and four mothers. I've never heard that phrase, but you heard it here first. Four mothers, that's the phrase now. <laughs> they've, pro- you know, yeah. they've, they've stood your on four a, parents. Yeah, they've, st- they've stood on a battlefield somewhere, sword in their hand, and they've, you know, they've had to fight to still for you to be here basically you've you you Mm. know you've got people that have gone through tremendous 
hardship yeah. in their life. To live work. through poverty, live yeah, through hard, exactly. hard winters. Yeah, you know, you, you think back to like World War II, you know, mm. the amount of like Jewish descendants that, you know, somehow fucking got through that. I mean, we don't even have to, we don't even have to do that. You can just no. go back to, you can go back to the Middle Ages. Yeah, you just need to be in hard where, times, don't you? Or just shit times yeah. like the Dark Ages, yeah. <laughs> yeah, where like, where you, you, the, you don't know where anything can kill you. Mm. Like medieval life, I mean, medieval life was horrible. Well, even Victorian life weren't that great, was it? You know, you're still like C- pulling out medieval- windows and stuff. And Com- people are getting yeah, cholera and shit to- like that, you know? Compared to medieval life, Victorian life was a fucking picnic. Mm. Like in, in, in medieval life, there's no, basically no knowledge of medicine. You can't read. You can't write. Mm-hmm. You could eat something that could kill you. You can't drink the water because that will kill you. Chances are you're some kind of slave or futile serf you, yeah. working on the fucking be farm a land for a baron somewhere. Yeah, you'll mm. be a serf. You won't be making much if any money mm. you're at the mercy of cutthroats you're you're at the mercy of the wildlife which you're could mercy totally of kill you because wolves winter. man there are yeah. wolves around yeah you could be yeah. just at the mercy of cold cold weather you're at the mercy <laughs> well you're at the mercy of winter and summer because yeah. dehydration will kill you yeah no patagonia jackets back then and no camel packs either and what are you going to do? Oh, we'll have a drink of water. Well, the water just gave you dysentery and you died. Yeah. So, I mean, it was... It was you got the shit. That, that made you really, really dehydrated yeah. and you died from having the shit. Yeah. You, you shit yourself <laughs> to death. Yeah. And then in the Victorian era, you've got a bit more knowledge of medicine. Yeah. But still, you've got rampant poverty. Mm. You know? You've still got a lot of the same issues. Mm. it's just things have advanced ever so slightly there's more Mm. pavement you're probably in london yeah let's say you're in london where yeah again you're shitting in the street or you've got like a bedpan or something probably loads of people getting cancer from the smog yeah absolutely yeah yeah you can lose your job at any time you've got bloody jack the ripper running about so if you're a working girl you're you're on borrowed time yeah well i mean i mean as as i mean a lot of women had to prostitute themselves anyway if if yeah. there if there was a if there was like a downturn in fortunes yeah you know so yeah it's it was a it was messy times man we're mm. so lucky now like this mm. is the thing we're so lucky now mm. we don't know we're born man yeah we really don't mm. like Thing you, you look at like turning on like I've got a tap next to me. I can turn on the tap, yeah, and drink some water. Yeah, that's like if you if you showed someone from the medieval times that they they would like probably I don't know. They think I was a wizard. They think probably. you were yeah. They think you were a wizard. Yeah, like it's uh, it's like and like cuisine, like mm. just food in general. Kebabs, Matt. Kebabs. If you gave a medieval person a kebab, yeah, they would explode. Yeah, and not just because the kebab would give them the shits; they'd explode like in. Give them, give them chili sauce. Yeah. What are they going to think? Yeah. It's crazy. And now you can eat. You can go. You can go to. Your town centre, no matter almost no matter where you live, particularly in the UK, you mm. can go to your town centre and eat food from wherever the hell you want. Mm. You can eat food from Italy. You can eat food from India. You can eat food from China. You can eat food from all corners of the globe, and you can do it in your, on your doorstep. Yeah, you don't even have to go outside. You People can, can bring the food to you. You can call someone and a person will bring you food from the four corners of the globe or even a yeah. fusion of two places from different places <laughs> in the globe, you know? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. So earlier, people, yeah. earlier you said that it's hard to live your best life. I uh, think not, it's hard to get there. 
I'm not disagreeing. It's hard, with you. it's hard to get to your best life. Definitely not disagreeing with you because that's going to take a, an awful lot of you know self determination, motivation, and hard work. You know, hmm. a, a lot of people make money by saying that they've got this secret thing where they can get you whatever you want, whether that be money, whether that be health, health, maybe you know whether that's a, or, or a sex life or. Hmm anything so but it really it doesn't work because you need to put the work in they've probably put in you know years and years to hone their craft on clever fucking marketing to take your money away mm. from that. yeah so it's definitely well, it's yeah. definitely not an easy thing totally get that <clears throat> it's definitely easier no. than it was before though however we're talking about all these cool things that we've got we've got we've got mm. the food we've got you know we've got netflix i was watching um Chronicles of Riddick earlier, just cause. Okay. Just because I just fancy watching Chronicles of Riddick. Um, <laughs> yeah. so Vin Diesel's films are just so bonkers, but that's another, that's another mm. thing anyway. They're just so stupid. Mm. But, um, the, third, yeah. the third movie is, um, is brilliant. I love yeah. the third one. Is that the, the I one love, I love... on the, like the death planet? Yeah, well that's, well, that's the first one and the third one. Is it? Yeah. Oh Pitch yeah, of course Black. it is. Yeah, Pitch Black was Pitch on the death Black's planet, great. Well, wasn't it? And and Riddick, the third one, is great. Sorry, I, I was watching Riddick. Third. I couldn't find Chronicles of Riddick, but that's the one that I, I wanted to watch Chronicles of Riddick. I watched Riddick earlier. Mm. Where he's got the dog. Yeah. Where he's got his space dog. Yeah, space zebra dog. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, I was doing that. Um, what else did I do today? I had a, uh, a call um, with a company that I'm working for, Coaching, and we were in like... Mm-hmm. Again, four corners of the globe. I think someone, you know, some of them were in Europe. I think some of them, there was one or two in the in South America. So literally across the globe. Mm. And we're talking yeah. in real time. I had to get up at 4 a.m. for it. But nevertheless, I was able to talk <laughs> across the globe. I'm doing it again now. I'm talking to you. Mm. We did it last of week. Three away. Different, yeah, we did. Three different time zones. Yeah, Austin, J- Japan, mm-hmm. and New Zealand. Yeah. So while it's easier, do you reckon? Do you reckon we get lost sometimes because of these things? Because rather well, we take watching, them for granted. Rather than watching Riddick today, which I, you know, I don't, you know, chastise myself for doing because I did enjoy it. But I could yeah. have equally have been spending an hour and a half on, you know, living my best life or trying to attain that that level of mastery of my own life. Hmm. Well, I mean, you've got to, <clears throat> I mean, we do take these things for granted. Mm. I think, um, I think there's an element of wanting to, of wanting to kind of switch off mm. at the same time. Cause you, I mean, you can't be on all the time. It's, oh, it's very not. difficult definitely, and it drives true. people like there are very, very like the FTSE 100 people and like the, uh, the the top 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 like they 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 are on almost all the time but they're not on all the time yeah you have to be um you have you have to take personal moments i guess you have personal sanity slash insanity moments yeah um but there are a lot of distractions nowadays Mm. and part of it is um we're going to step into a realm. <laughs> is it the, is it the dirty, it is, is, it, is it the dirty two words that we weren't supposed to talk about? Um, I think they're part of it, but when, but that's the only reference we'll make. Okay. There are a lot of distractions. And I think that, <clears throat> that people, I think that a distracted populace is, is a good thing if you're in power. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree. Like, with that. You want a That's... distracted pop. You want a populist that doesn't really pay much attention to what you're doing. Mm. Or, or um, pays negative attention to what you're doing. I mean, you say that you see that with the the sort of the news media and all that. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. But let's oh. get away from that very quickly before uh, the quickly, black hole sucks us in. Before just, we cross just the event before, just before, I was I was downstairs eating dinner just before we had this had this call. 
Yeah. And um, CNN's on again every fucking time. Like, I say I don't watch the news. It's down there every time now. Someone's mm. always watching CNN. But it was on the advert, so I didn't have to watch any of the news. And I ate my dinner double quick to do it. There was this one, there was this one advert for a news show on CNN. And it was this, like, this guy's global report, right? And there's him mm. looking very stern, very important, yeah. very knowledgeable to the left. And on the right was his global report. And all of these um, headlines sort of came out of it and faded away. It was like, USA and Iran might go to war. Other bad mm. thing. This is also a bad thing. You need to be aware <coughs> of bad thing, mm. bad thing, bad thing. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. it's not a very good advert, but it probably is. It probably is because you want to be an informed citizen, mm. informed, you know, in, in yeah. quotation marks again. Yeah, I yeah. Thought, well, like... Me. It's like fear, fear, fear. Be scared. Be yeah. really scared. Yeah. Like, like, uh, they, like Trump just went to North Korea. He's the did, first did he? U.S. president to step into North Korea. Wow. And and he had a, a chat or a negotiation or whatever with with Kim Jong Un. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And um, it's been reported a little bit. Yeah. You know, I didn't hear about it. A little bit. So here's the yeah. thing about here's the thing about CNN, right? Here's the thing about CNN. Yeah. Not many people watch CNN. The only reason why they have a crazy amount of like viewership mm-hmm. is because <clears throat> CNN is what is played in every office. It's played in every hotel. Right. It's played in the airports. Mm-hmm. It's played in, in, in where, wherever you are. When, when I guess it's your like common area. I don't know. Yeah. In my weird. It's played in your account. common area. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's, it's played. It's played in a lot of public places, mm. but very few people actually turn it on and watch it. Mm. That's the thing, like the twenty-four hour news. It's always uh, it's always there. It's always, it? Yeah, it's always on in like a public utility. In like a public utility, yeah, it's treated like a public utility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it's it's anything but. Mm. Um, but like this, we had a, a short conversation about. Uh, and again, the black hole is is expanding looming, and threatening. <laughs> we had a, we had a chat about um, the the acid, the the, yep. the milkshake acid. Yeah. Um, and you were like, and you said to me, I don't know why I watch the news. Like, was it like I hate it? I don't know why I watch the news. I think I said, and this is why I don't watch the news because you told me, and this is why. Yeah, right, yeah. So I'll go back. I'll go back. And I said, and I replied. At this point, I'm watching it as like a doomsday prep, almost. Yeah. Because that's yeah. like, oh my god, the black hole's expanding again. And then I, and then I got, it's and then I got, us. I got cross with, with the whole situation, not with me and you, but like just the whole, just people fighting. And I just said, we'll be fine. Their noise, they're fighting the wrong, they're fighting the wrong battle. Fuck them. Mm. And then yeah, asked, exactly. Are we recording yeah. tomorrow? I was like, "Yes, yes, we are." Might have still gone up today, I think. <laughs> right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's the thing. Like a distracted populace. If mm. you've got a distracted populace, you could weaponize your populace. Mm. That's why, like, there's so much sort of political propaganda in in film, and why there's so much political propaganda in that it's creeping into like things like sport. Mm. And it's creeping into gaming and it's creeping into sort of everything. Mm. It's like you get people, you've, you've got people distracted and you're getting them indoctrinated at the same time. Mm. And then the second you go, that thing's bad, they go, that thing's bad. And then, you know, milkshakes get sold out. <sighs> Hang on. I'm going to engage full burn and get away from the black hole okay and when they come back to talking about the meaning of life yeah meaning of life okay we don't have a bowie song to to pull us back this time no so i'll I'll segue us back i'll segue us back so segue us back so the whole chemical burn milkshake thing matter of time Mm. before it happened because people are getting fucking silly yeah i think Um, we said that we said that like a couple of weeks ago. Oh yeah, maybe in episode we did. in yeah. episode eight, I think we said that we recorded episode eight before this whole thing happened with three the four quick dry weeks cement. Ago. Three four weeks ago. Um, mm. 
And well, there's a whole host of reasons why they do it. I don't fucking know, and I'm not going to comment on why because I'm not going to waste any time mm. on stupid people. I have no time well, they for think, stupid people. They think they're right. Oh, they can think whatever the fuck they want. They're stupid. So this is the thing that. So this is the thing that um, that our our good buddy uh, Tim Paul <laughs> said. Oh yeah. <laughs> he says what well, he said. He said these people are laughing, basically. Which people? Like, like there are people amongst them. There are so people the amongst them. People. Yeah, yeah. They're basically right. laughing. Uh huh. They think they're part of like la resistance and uh-huh. all that. Yeah. And they're um, they're just. But I mean, it's just they just they just think they think they're right. They think they're in the right. Mm. Completely, and it's like I don't I don't know if you are, man. I don't know if you are. History says you're not. Yeah. History says what you're doing leads to worse. Yeah. But there are people who just want to see it all burn. Mm, the Christchurch right. guy, someone who just wanted to watch it all burn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that guy, that guy has probably done more damage than... Like he, he's probably done the most damage to society globally since 9-11. In a long while, yeah. Yeah. In a long because while. Yeah, it was like it, it was like per, it was perfectly calibrated to do the most the most societal damage mm-hmm. he could possibly do. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right. How and do we and how do we him, get out of this, Matt? How do we get out? Well, and well, go on, you well, go. That's the thing. For that guy, mm. that might have been his meaning of life. That might have been his. This is me being the best version of myself I can be. Mm. I'm setting the most shit on fire I possibly can. Because mm. here's the thing that we're, that we're sort of, that we're doing. Christ, we're, what, what a sad do, thought, we're... eh? Right. Imagine, right. If that, if, imagine if that was it. Right, well, right, but he's done it. Like, that's, yeah. that's he's achieved it. Mm. Like, the meaning of life for a member of ISIS is to die for your for the cause and to because you're going to get rewarded in the afterlife i'm sure the high ups don't fucking believe that i'm sure they don't otherwise they'd be doing it well sure that's what they said right but that's the the, Mm. we're not talking about that we're talking about the guy who who gets radicalized and finds new meaning Mm. This is the thing. Like, there's meaning. an absence of meaning. Yeah. That's partially mm. why it's easy to to indoctrinate people with new meaning, and that's why you have Antifa. Because there's why nothing you have there. Because there's nothing yeah. else there, is there? Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Um, and that's the thing about having this world where there's so many distractions. Mm. You can copy paste something onto somebody who's looking for meaning. That's why people like Jordan Peterson are so popular. Mm. And also why they're hated at the same yeah, time. Yeah. Cause this is the thing that I noticed about us. We're saying a lot of the same things he's saying. I've only watched him Either... a couple of times, but the times that I have, and from what I knew about him before. So initially I find out, that people are shouting at him and he's like, uh, he's like a misogynist and things like that. Yeah. And all of these other things. And I'm like, I'm never one to just sort of jump on it and go, yeah, hmm. sure he is. Um, it, it, it just, it, basically what I did was exactly what I did with the, the, the getting angry at the cement thing. They're fighting the wrong fucking war. Rah, rah, rah. Yes, we are putting the thing hmm. up tomorrow. Mars episodes up today. La 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 la. I just sort of wandered <laughs> off. And then I watched, I, I can't remember how I found the video. I think I was doing some research um, on various things. And mm. it, was on, it was on Five Live back home. Not Five mm-hmm. Live, it was BBC Five or something like that. It was on a radio show. And mm. they were talking about an interview that he did where they were talking about male suicide rates and then obviously mm. you know, worldwide being yeah. like fucking like one of the biggest killers of like men between like 16 and 
35 or something like that, 18 It's the biggest, I believe. Yeah. It's the over, biggest. Over here as well in New Zealand, I found out it's incredibly high over here as well. So mm. it, it's like a, it's a, a global epidemic of you know, yes. young men taking their own lives. Sure, it's women as well. People are upset and we're probably coming back to the meaning. But anyway, and they go yeah. and he cried in that interview, back to the sort of, and, and he's there sobbing again. I'm mm. thinking, this guy doesn't look like a bad guy. He can't be a bad guy. <laughs> this is all fucking nonsense that these mm. people, you know, are just like, ah, you're a bad person. There's this guy just trying to help these young men. And he's, he's mm. sobbing for these people that he's never met that he never will get to meet now. And maybe that's why it makes him so sad that he never will be able to mm. meet these guys and he's crying for them. Mm. Now I just thought well, there's, there's you, such a big heart on this guy that I can't see this yeah. person being, you know, evil, but obviously polarization, blah, 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 post-truth, theory, yeah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not just that. He like, he, he weeps like he almost like, he gets like overwhelmed because mm. he talks about people like coming up to him. Yeah, yeah. And like saying, I've got a like I've I've got a better relationship with my dad because of because I listen to you. And it's just incredible. like fuck. Isn't it? How incredible yeah. is that? And when like we there's I mean, he has his hot takes about things, but when it comes to th- to, to stuff like how do you when, you, when it comes to things like meaning and when it comes to things like how you live your life, mm. we're saying similar things to him. Well, that's good then, I guess. I'd like to be in the same boat as him. He seems like he's quite an intelligent dude that's trying to help. And then, mm. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'm down with that. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is why, but, uh, but again, to sort of circle back, like this mm. is why part of the reason why he's he's disliked the way he is is maybe because of the whole of what he's talking about. Maybe it's because of he's trying to pull people away, maybe from the distractions and away from the indoctrination. He's offering like a better life, but it's a lot of work. Yeah. You know? Yeah, absolutely. You know, cause from what, from what I understood, I, I, as I say, I haven't seen a lot of him, but from what I see, he seems like a good dude. And he's trying to mm. help, you know, these young men get out of it. And he's sort of like talking about like making your bed the first thing in the morning. If like you're, mm. you're depressed and you've got no fucking energy and you sort of just play video games every day and you've got no real social life, blah, blah, blah. He's like, right, first off, mm. just, fuck, just make your bed every day. Yeah. And then see if you can tidy your room every day. Mm. And then just see small steps towards just being a little bit more accountable for yourself and mm. having a bit more pride in yourself as well, caring for yourself a little bit more. Mm. And adopting a bit of responsibility yeah well we, we speak about that a lot don't we about personal mm. responsibility i think it's one of my fucking yeah catchphrases on this show <laughs> everyone needs to take mm. some fucking personal responsibility but yeah he mm. seems like, that's a good the thing, dude. like yeah there's an epidemic of like the man child mm. you know like you see this i mean we were talking last last time with will about like star wars mm-hmm. and how it's and how it's sort of um, how people are so attached to that, yeah, and and how it's this thing that doesn't even care about you. Mm. It's just this. It's it's a brand. It's that a thing. Wants your it's money. A, yeah, it's just a neutral concept in the well, universe. It's not, you know, it's it's not. It's, it's a thing. It's not so much new. It's a thing that wants your money. Yeah, first it doesn't want your love. It wants your money. Mm. Which again is why when, when people come out against it and say, I don't like this, this is, I don't like what this is doing. Mm. These people immediately get vilified mm. by the studio mm. and you get apologists going, just shut up and watch it and enjoy it. Mm. Just enjoy it. Stop paying attention. Turn off your brain and enjoy it. Mm. And you get that with, you had that with Game of Thrones mm-hmm. and you had that with, you have that with with like the recent Star Trek. Yep, the, Mass Effect um, back in the day, Mass Effect Three. Mass Effect. Well, I mean three. I mean three in a way. Andromeda as well. Oh and yeah. People go like yeah. um. Yeah. People say like, oh, you're not entitled to, to this good thing, and it's like, well, I mean, it's not about entitlement. It's about. 
you have a response i mean it's almost i don't know it's not because the, the argument is oh it just didn't it just didn't go the way you wanted it to go mm -hmm. like you wanted like with mass effect it was like you wanted a happy end you just wanted everything to be happy you wanted a happy ending you wanted everyone to be like la 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 skipping through an earth that's being rebuilt mm -hmm. and it's like no we just wanted we wanted an end <laughs> we wanted an ending we wanted a consistent ending a consistent ending yeah. with choices throughout the whole thing which was plugged throughout the whole you know mm. five years or however long that it was made that all of your decisions yeah. in a work and i think a lot of them did i think thinking back on it sort of i've got a bit of maybe nostalgia with it now but a lot more did fall through to the end they just weren't in the final cut scene you know well it's like the final well it's the final <clears throat> see that it, it's great until the last the last 20 minutes yeah yeah and the problem is the problem is with an ending a bad ending can torpedo everything before it yeah if it's if it's so antithetical to what you're supposed to be, what you've built up, yeah, a bad ending, as Game of Thrones has found out, <laughs> can absolutely like set a nuclear bomb off on everything you've built already and just destroy it. It's like you think about epis like the, the, there's a new Star Wars coming out at the end of the year. It's just a Picard one. Star Wars. Oh, okay. Yeah. And um, I'm going to be flamed now, Matt. They're, gonna, they're coming after me. <laughs> <laughs> I said the wrong one. <laughs> God have well, mercy maybe, on me. Maybe, please. Maybe it'll be a crossover. Maybe yeah. it'll be a crossover. You, know, yeah. you never know. <laughs> but, um, but that's coming out. And I'm like, I don't really care. It's almost like I'm almost grateful to the to the bad thing that because I didn't like the last the the eighth one and it's like I'm almost grateful to it because it's broken the spell mm. and it's like ah uh, ah uh, whatever mm. I don't I don't have to care about this thing anymore and it's I mean, just gonna you, yeah it's just gonna be just there gonna make, and, it's just gonna make you miserable yeah and it's giving you you know two three hours back of your life. Exactly, yeah. Where you could potentially the thing with... live your best life. So, to, you know, to coin a, an Instagram mm. hashtag, you know? Yeah, exactly. Which I get, and that comes back to me not wanting to watch any TV. Mm. It's like, why bother? Mm. What's the point? Mm. Like, I mean, a, a certain... Like, the only thing... What Game of Thrones has done, aside from make me a little bit unhappy... Yeah. It has... The, the positive effect it's had is it's made me look back at my own work yeah. and work out what I'm, like, particularly with this, with the third of the fantasy books, I'm like, okay, because mm. yeah. I had my plan, I had my plan done. Mm -hmm. And after that, I sort of had to think about it and I went back and I was like, okay, what's happening? Have I set this thing up enough? Mm -hmm. And if the answer's no, I go like, okay. So I need another, yeah. another chapter. Mm -hmm. I need to stick another chapter in where we set this up, where we set up a conflict yeah. that's, been, that's running through the book. Mm -hmm. Or we set up this thing that's going to happen to this character. Mm. Or we set, up, we set up like someone maybe changing allegiances. We're setting all these what? things up. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> As an example, <laughs> right? As an example. <laughs> Sorry, I needed to. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I know what you mean, though. We can, yeah. we can. That's interesting, actually, what you just said there. Hmm. So we're talking a lot about meaning. Yeah. And so, blanket statement for now: meaning of life is to make your own meaning. Let's. Let's call it that at the moment. Very Ooh, trite. Okay. Very trite. Probably going to change towards the end. <laughs> but let's just say yeah. it's that at the moment. Something you can waffle about in a 200-page book and make millions. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So meaning of life is to make your own meaning. If you like that, guys, you can leave and just make your own meaning. And I hope you have a brilliant life. But we're going to probably continue for about another hour. Um, and mm. we keep going back to meaning and people having 
no meaning or finding meaning in the wrong place. But what you've mm. done there is you've taken meaning from something that can serve you. You know, you've made mm. the best of a bad situation almost. And, and I think, I, I find it more now that we're doing this podcast, actually, that mm. I'll find, I'll make like links and stuff like that and go, oh, that's interesting. Maybe we could talk about, maybe I could talk about that with Matt when we get onto a subject mm. like that. Or, hmm, oh, that's a bit like what we've spoken about before. I guess we were right. Or, oh, that's <laughs> sort of things like that. But we can sort of, we can draw meaning from everywhere. And I think, I guess that's why, you know, people, you know, at the very least subjectively find the wrong meaning in places and sort of, you know, fight the wrong battles, you know. But mm. so do it in the right way you've you've gone back through your book you've gone you know to you could call you know your your life's purpose is to be you know a, a, a an accomplished writer and you've you've taken something bad and made it good mm. in your life mm. i like mm, that maybe i like that as a message mm. just, just need to put 200 200 more pages around that and i've got a bestseller Okay. <laughs> right well yeah i just need to put yeah exactly yeah yeah hmm. well the the thing well so there's um so it's quite so how how would you think other people would fit into this things like altruism hmm. and and trying and like helping other people okay like the best for because hmm. there's um because what we're saying is very very individualistic and very sort of focused on the self i'm going to disagree with you well i mean i'm i'm, I'm kind of getting to i'm getting to a thing okay you go so is, is the best version of yourself someone who is altruistic and someone who will help others or at least the best version of someone is going to be someone who's altruistic and will help others i think well if, if we look at you yeah right if we just look at you and we can and we can look at our our dude Jordan Peterson, okay? Okay. Right. So let's say, well, let's just use you for a moment. So you're mm -hmm. going to live the best version of your life, okay? Starting from now, you make a decision. And you're like, right, I'm I'm going to focus on me, and I'm going to focus on, you know, what what I want to achieve with my life. <clears throat> Doesn't mm. necessarily. Ha I mean probably good to be not at the behest of other people. But let's say, you know, you're one of the moderate people in the middle of the bell curve mm -hmm. and you're trying to focus on your own little thing. And that is, in, in Matt's situation, is writing. So you mm -hmm. write these books, you become accomplished, and then some guy comes up to you at a sign and he goes, oh, man, I'm, you know, I'm such a, such a big fan. <clears throat> I, I remember in, in, in that book that you did, where these, the, the, the main character said this thing and I was in this really bad place and it, it sort of made me sort of reevaluate things. And I did this and I did that and I've done a little bit better. Now you've not necessarily set out to be altruistic, but you've, you've given, so you've put something into the world mm -hmm. that helps. Okay. So you don't necessarily even need to set out to be altruistic. I mean, it's good, it's good to probably not be, uh, set out to be, to not set out to be not altruistic. If I could think of a better way to say that, I would. Hmm. But just sort set of set out be, to be selfish. Yeah, don't yeah, don't set out to be selfish. Just hmm. you know, focus on yourself. But remember, there are other people in the world. Again, have a bit of personal responsibility. Be a grown up. Try your best. Clean your room. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I, I mean, I, I I'm sure that Jordan Peterson didn't set out to be. You know, when he was, you know, in, in college, he didn't think, I'm going to, I'm going to help thousands and thousands of young men. He mm. just wanted to, he wanted to be a psychologist. He's a psychologist, isn't he? Mm, yeah. Well, he's a, he's a, a I think he, psychologist he had a lecturer. practice. Yeah. 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 Then he was a lecturer and then he's, now he's, you know, book tours, talking tours, lecture tours, all of that nonsense. And he's got people coming up mm. and saying that, you know, they didn't kill themselves or they reconnected mm. with their family. Amazing. Mm. Well, and it's sort of, I don't know. I mean, he's, I mean, it's, it's, you could argue it's a lot of young men taking the message on board, but it's not a necessarily a message that's exclusive to young men. 
I think it's because a lot of his like, stuff comes up on YouTube and YouTube is predominantly male of that age. True, that's yeah, that's probably, true. That's probably why. If it was in another medium, you know, like a book or something, and it, 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 it sort of came to prominence through mm. there, it could have been a whole yeah. different thing. But largely, YouTube is very, mm. it's very male-dominated in between yeah. those age brackets as well. Mm. <clears throat> well, it's, since his book has, has come out, his, um, he's getting a lot more female... Um, sort of viewership well there we are i mean as a as a um as a psychology because it's as a psychology professor hmm. because his his lectures are all on youtube yeah and you look at his class and it's about 90 percent women yeah so you know but i mean it's not necessarily because that's another way to kind of uh divide people because that message be mm. be the best version of yourself you can be. It's not a gendered message. No, of course it isn't. Self, you. Yeah, <laughs> it's a universal yeah. message, if anything. <laughs> yeah, I'll go. As to, I'll go. I'd go as far as to say that saying he's directing that message at men yeah. is sexist. Yeah, because why wouldn't women take meaning from that either? Mm. Are you saying that women can't? Are you saying that women can't better themselves? Is that mm. what you're saying? Mm. You know, it's. Mm. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. No, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. People are just fighting the wrong battles, though, aren't they? If, if people want to tell you that, then you just go, all right, I'm just going to mm. go hashtag live my best life. See you, hater. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <Bye. Bye. laughs> Well, like the thing, people are finding meaning. So let's look at let's look at like Antifa for a second, because mm -hmm. what they're ultimately the idea behind them is like the defense of the defense of marginalized groups. Let's say, right? Yeah. So that's not that's a very sort of altruistic mm -hmm. on the on on the face of it. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, sort of sticking up for the helpless. Yeah, a right. Robin Hood type character. Basically, yeah. Yeah, Basically, yeah Robin Hood. You're Robin mm. Hood, right? Mm. Um, but it's... And you'd think that would be all right. <laughs> you'd think. But it's, it's, how, it's, how, it's how it's happening. It's just mm. so unpalatable. Mm -hmm. Well, it's because they're doing, they're, they're helping people in spite of others. And I would go as far as to say that what they're doing at the moment isn't helping anyone. No. Well, they're, they're sort of, they, they, they're trying to help people by, <clears throat> by um, sort of attacking, by attacking. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they're it's doing odd. it. I think it's they're, they're doing it in spite of others. You know mm. what yes. what you're doing. If if you got you know you get to that place where that that kid says really help me, you haven't done that in spite of someone else. Mm. You know, and Jordan Peterson hasn't helped the kid reconnect with his dad in spite of someone else. Mm. He hasn't had to go through someone to help that kid. He's just said something he's put something out there he's made mm. something he's created something someone has taken meaning from that as we've said mm. and that's helped them but when you get to these guys or even the others both both of the sides left or right i don't care if you're mm. far anything or oh anything you're doing it wrong okay you're doing it wrong <laughs> 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 i don't care you're both doing it wrong you're you're, you're trying to help people that i I would probably suggest you're probably not doing it right and you're doing it in spite of other people. Mm. By, and even, I mean, even left, saying as well, even, even, even saying like you're trying to help people is being, is being like I'm being generous. It's being so, so it's being, it's trying to be so fair. Mm. It's, it's being <clears throat> very, very generous. Yeah. Cause I mean, yeah, exactly. What I was going to say for, by, by helping in, Cap, you know quotations air quotes mm -hmm. by helping these people which i don't think you are 
Um, hmm. For one, you're doing that against what really, if you're going to be as tolerant as you want, you're doing it against a marginalized group. Mm. Air quotes, alt-right, just yeah. extremists, both extremists. Fundamentalist. Let's call it fundamentalist. I don't like the word extremist. Let's call it fundamentalist, yeah. a fundamentalist sure. righty. You're, mm-hmm. you're, you're doing that against them. And then yeah. you're marginalizing them. If you get them to shut up, I mean, one, mm. one of two things is going to happen. They're either going to sit down and take it, which I don't think many people like doing, Mm. or they'll go underground and then you can't see it anywhere yeah you know? they'll go underground and double down yeah and they'll just be like i've been pushed this far how many times have we seen that in the media you know i've been pushed around for too long and now it's my time to you know fucking tell you mm. what's what wrong way to do yeah, it. yeah yeah <laughs> we've said as we that's how you get a psycho time. that's how you get yeah psychopaths. yeah talk to people mm. Talk yeah, to people. Yeah, yeah. Help people in not in spite of people. You want to help them, have a conversation with them. Mm. Have a conversation. You gotta understand with their you point. You gotta understand their point of view. Understand them and and you know, show them show them your side. You don't have to agree. You can walk away from that having the same point of view. Mm. Mm. But but we're all in this that... world and having you know fighting. What's that going to do? It's going to hurt people. Mm. It's going to hurt people that are attached to them. You, you know, mm. you, you, you throw a milkshake at some kid. He might think he's alt, right? He might just be being edgy or he might be a bit of a dick. You know, he might mm. be a misogynist. He might be a racist. Mm. You do that to him, you're going to hurt his family. You're going to hurt his friends. You're going to hurt his prospects. Hurting him mm. also isn't going to stop the problem. Chucking well, you're not going to change his mind. You're definitely not going to change his mind. He's going to double down on it. Mm. Now, you've, now you've given him a reason. Yeah, like that, and that's if he is if he is like extreme, right? That's yeah. if he is. He could a, just be like a fundamentalist, yeah. as you say. It's not he could just be his mind. He could just be an edgy mean lord, and then in which case you just throw mm. the milkshake over a kid, you know, yeah. a teenager, and or even a man. Doesn't matter. You've thrown a milkshake. Potentially, yeah. potentially, you've 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 pushed him that further. way further. <laughs> yeah, you've pushed him further into because the second that happens to somebody, you're going to have sympathetic voices, mm-hmm. and they're going to come from anywhere hmm. like the thing about the the fundamentalist sort of groups is they want to expand and the best way to expand is to pick up pick up the people that get thrown away and pick up the turncoats as well yeah the starving respond to angry voices you pick hmm. people up mm-hmm. and you, that's one of mine didn't is get that... that from a tv show Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> quote from a quote nice. from a damn quote from one of the books nice. but you just you drag you drag in yeah it's you, yeah you just you take the people who who get who get like kicked out and and who lose their meaning and you say here's a new meaning yeah and then and bang and that's why yeah yeah and i don't know if and it can happen in the reverse. People can get less extreme. But I mean, you look at, I don't see, I don't know if these, these factions are growing at all. I know they're growing more extreme, but I don't know if they're growing in terms of size. I reckon they're just getting louder now. I think that's all it is. Probably. They're gaining, they're growing they're gaining a passive following because it's fun to mm. watch. And it, it's, all, you know, when you're, when, you're, when you're away from it and mm. if you don't sort of consciously look at what is happening in that society mm. you could just look at that as a soap opera mm. who's could... going to win this time is my team one? Oh no my team's not one uh, bloody get on twitter and tell them what's for tell the proud mm. boys what's for because i like Antifa <laughs> and i'm sitting here eight hours a day just watching this happen because i've got no meaning in my life i also have a mm. i'm not going to get a new meaning and go out there that's too much work um, <laughs> yeah but yeah I, I, I reckon they're just going to be getting louder. I would hope mm. that they're getting louder. I've got no, I've got, you know, puzzling through. I've got no idea because I don't, I try and not pay any attention to it. It's not going to serve me one ounce looking at that. Mm. No. And I can't stop it either. Mm. It's better to change yourself than change the world, isn't it? Mm. I can't. Yeah. And I don't want to, you know, I don't want to change people's minds. 
I'm not going to go I'm... around spouting a, a philosophy and go, change, motherfuckers, change. <laughs> Do as yeah. I say. Because obviously, well, trying, trying to you're get people gonna. to change, yeah, trying to get people to change doesn't nah. work nah. often. <laughs> like people's beliefs come from like from deep down and they're deep set. Yeah, they I come from think... their own lives. You can't undo the potential damage, or you can't unwrite nah. the things that have happened to them. You can't do that. No, nah. you have to take people. You have to take people as they are, mm-hmm. and you have to find some way to have peace with them. Because hmm. otherwise, otherwise things are going to be. Otherwise, we're we're doomed. Like there's it, things are going to look very very grim in the next sort of five to ten years. I don't know, man. I'm an optimist. <coughs> well, I'm 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 sort of a I'm a cautionary folk. Mm, yeah. And I mean, I'm only I'm not an optimist. necessarily a pen. I'm I'm not, I don't not, know if I'm a pessimist. You but... Yeah, you go for it. Because I mean, yeah. right, what I was trying to say was, yeah, go on. was <clears throat> you, you're probably more cautionary than I am because you mm. look at this stuff an awful lot more than I do. Yeah. Don't you? Because I don't look at it. I didn't know about mm. the milkshake thing until you told me. So I try yeah. and stay away from it. So that could be, that could be, be to my detriment. You know, there could be, you know, a global uprising on its hands and I'd only know when it happened outside my window. But mm. at the same time, it might not be, and it might just be that you're just seeing all these loud voices. I don't think there's any way for either of us to know without being in that situation. And to be in that situation is madness. Mm. That's the wrong place to be anyway, isn't it? To find out. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather, I'd rather not find out how bad it is then have to go in there to find out how bad it is. Mm, yeah. You know? <clears throat> mm. Mm. Here's hoping anyway, Matt. Otherwise, yeah, I'll here's... See, otherwise I'll see you at the end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And yeah. you can tell me that you, you told go. me so. <laughs> <laughs> there told you go. You. We're back to, we're yeah. back to our normal programming. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I, I, th- I think we're going to be positive at the end of this one because we, okay. we can come out of this. I'm not sure how, we, how long mm. we've been on, actually. Uh, neither it's am fl- I. It's flying got, by. I lost, tra- I lost track of the last one because I think because we chatted to, to Will beforehand. Mm. That one felt like it went on for a long time, mm. even though it was not like in a bad way. Like in like it, a, it was so interesting, wasn't it? And we, there was so yeah. much to say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Like there, I, I had sort of no concept of time. No. And I was still a little bit hungover. So mm. it was a bit of a mystery to that me. That does always make things drag out, doesn't it? A hangover. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Although the, the coffee's helped. They helped me feel a bit more like a human. I love caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> Probably love it a bit too much. Uh, possibly, yeah. Yeah, probably. I feel I feel the same, possibly. But I but, mean, there's know. there's a lesson in itself. None of us are perfect, are we? No matter how perfect we look, guys, we're not perfect either. <laughs> yeah, and I don't think you should. And I don't. <laughs> and I don't think you should strive for perfection. I don't think it exists, Matt. Really? Uh, no, probably per- not. Perfection, perfection doesn't doesn't um, mm. doesn't exist. No, nah. you can, you know, at some point you could, you could probably be the best at something in the world, in the whole wide world. You could probably be the best at something. You just don't know what it is. Probably be really obscure yeah. and meaningless to mm. come back to the phrase that we've been using. But, you know, never know. Someone, mm. someone in the world is going to be the strongest in the world. Someone in the world is going to be the funniest in the world. Might be you. Never Might know. Might be. I mean, I'm definitely mm. not. You can strongest. always have an off day. Yeah. I'm not the strongest person, I can tell you that. These guns ain't for shooting. <laughs> are, they, are they BB guns? My little, my little twig yeah. arms. <laughs> <laughs> your, nerf, your nerf arms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My little water gun arms. My little water pistol <laughs> arms. But right, so, where were we? Right, Antifa and 
far left, far right, fundamentalist groups, you're all doing it wrong. Talk to each other. Be nice. Um, mm. People are finding, right, it's a lot. We're centering around meaning. So let's, let's bring it back. So mm -hmm. life isn't about pleasure, but it might be about pleasure because pleasure with meaning is, well, meaningful. Mm. Meaning comes back. Meaning keeps coming back to us. We keep talking about mm -hmm. having the wrong meaning, finding meaning in other places. People, you know, meaning being, I mean, and definitely meaning is subjective, isn't it? You know, I'm, sh I'm sure mm. while we were both happy on that boat for, for Carl mm -hmm. Stagg, we would have taken a different meaning away from that. I mean, for, for one, we were in two different places. You, you were Carl's best man and mm -hmm. um, I'm his, you know, he's still his good friend on that boat, but there's, there's a slightly mm -hmm. different perspective to that. And mm. we would have taken a slightly different meaning away from that, but largely the mm. same. We had a lovely time, mm. Carl, and we love you. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> but we keep coming back to this meaning, and, and I put the very trite thing together that I've solved the meaning of life by saying it's, it's you're making your own meaning. But it's making the correct meaning, isn't it? And mm -hmm. I mean, I, I can't tell you what the correct meaning is. Again, you've got to find what that correct meaning is. And it's being, mm. you know, hashtag live your best life and be your best self. And that's going mm -hmm. to take a lot of time. There's a lot, lot of things out there that I would say it's not the things that are trying to stop you. It's the people behind them that are trying to stop you and not even directly, you know, we can, mm. we can piss and moan about social media all day and how bad it is for us. Mm. And while, you know, they've got people, you know, from like the casino industry, the gambling industry, trying to make that as addictive as possible, you know, they're not actively keeping you on there. I understand addiction is a real thing. I'm probably mm -hmm. you know, addicted mm -hmm. to caffeine, definitely addicted to nicotine. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a, real, it's a real deal. But we always have a choice in this world, don't we? Mm. And sometimes we make passive choices. Yeah. We make passive choices because that's easy to do. You can just bumble through life. You can just bumble through life. And just go, oh, I'll have an energy drink. Oh, I'll go for another cigarette now. Oh, I'll probably watch Riddick on... Netflix, and then I'll go on the news. Oh, fuck me. People are throwing milkshakes. That's bollocks. I'm just I'm, I'm going to instantly do what I always do and tell them how shit they are. Oh, time for bed. Mm. Oh, woken up again. Better go back to work and I'll do this thing all over again. Easy to make passive mm. choices because it's easier to do. Living mm. your best life is hard to do. Being your best self is hard to do because it requires you to make active choices in your life. And it mm. requires you to have a bit of discipline, a bit of personal responsibility. Um, how do you find the right one? Well, I guess, I mean, I've seen a pattern that it seems like it's a good thing to do to put something out there that, mm. you know, may be of benefit to someone. If anything, at least be neutral to people. Mm. At the yeah. very least neutral try and be positive if you want i'm sure you know no one wants to put put out a bad product we're capitalists after all we want a good product mm -hmm. as soon as that product's negative you're probably in a bit of dodgy water um might be going down the wrong path but that's not my decision to make that's your decision to make mm -hmm. and then yeah putting that out there and put in and doing that not in spite of other people mm -hmm. Don't do it in spite of other people. Yeah. If it helps them, great. If it doesn't help them, well, again, it doesn't matter. You haven't done it in spite of them. Unless you have done it in spite of them, then, you know, reevaluate it, see what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Put something out there, uh, you know, that's at least net negative and just do it for yourself. If it mm -hmm. brings you pleasure with meaning, maybe it might bring someone else pleasure with meaning as well. Mm hmm. Imagine if this brings pleasure with meaning to people, Matt. We'll look back. We'll look back in like 10 years and go, bloody hell, that was all right, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> or it could just sit here until the end of time on the blockchain and then nothing, nothing, nothing will happen. But maybe it brought pleasure, pleasure with meaning to our lives, Matt. It certainly has mm. to me because we don't get to talk an awful lot to, we, to each other, do we, when we're traveling around? Mm, true. If anything, true, true. it's brought pleasure with meaning to at least two people. Mm -hmm. And that's a good thing. Mm hmm. Indeed. Yeah. And if, it, if, yeah, that's all good. I did it. Man. And if it can do that to a third, that's even better. Yeah. 
try your best. Mm -hmm. Don't give up. Other motivational slogans. <laughs> just, just, just do it. Um, <laughs> the best a man can get. I'm into, I'm into marketing now. I'm into marketing. I've got, I've done it wrong. <laughs> I, I'm loving it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. We, we didn't do i'm finding pleasure <laughs> with meaning with it <laughs> god we didn't even get up to love did we no but that's that's okay that's a topic for another day isn't it that's a topic for i another think so day. yeah did we do it now did we get there and did we get there positively we certainly got somewhere yeah more or less positively yeah that would do <laughs> 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 yeah. we could do we could do love in a part two who knows yeah we could do have you got anything else to say on it i did one you know my jerry's final words bit at the end which i find myself doing every week now i don't know why i do it i just get just find <laughs> I, I think i do it for myself to break down what i've just spoken about and comprehend yeah it a bit like more the tldr yeah 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 no i'm I'm right there with you. I think um I think we've we've covered we've covered we've covered something. Mm. And again it's gonna be different for other for everybody. Mm. People have different wants and needs. But But that's where you find your own meaning, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Mm. Mm -hmm. Don't let someone else Don't... give you a meaning either. Mm-hmm. That's yep. where it all seems to go tits up. Mm. And don't yuck someone else's yum. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Don't yuck mm. someone else's yum, all right? <laughs> They're trying to enjoy their yum. Yeah. Yuck off, you yuckers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let go of their door. Stop trying to take you off the hinges. Don't be a crab. Don't be a crab. Be Don't nice be. Yes. Be nice to each other. Be nice to each other. Have personal responsibility. Be grown ups. Be nice. Or not, you know, just, just try your best. Mm. But it's up to you, you big people. Yeah. I'm not going to force this on you. Mm hmm. So uh, we're not going to force you to like, subscribe, or share either. No. You do it if you want. Yeah. It'd be nice to hear mm -hmm. from you. But equally, me and Matt will keep doing this until we get bored of it. So there. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. All right then, Matt. Well I'll um I think I'll sign us off now. I I, yes. I can never deal with an, a, a good ending. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I always maybe I'm just sort of decompressing a little longer than than sort of bad endings because bad's everywhere isn't it mm. and maybe i just feel a bit out of sorts when there's a bit of good that happens <laughs> something for me to ponder over until next week but uh <laughs> indeed yeah indeed so, this anyway yeah this has been a big talks 10th episode i hope you've enjoyed it so far we'll probably do you know 10 more maybe do 10 more after that mm -hmm. who knows that is life mm -hmm. And we will, uh, we'll see you next week when we'll be talking about some, uh, some other stuff. See you later. Indeed. See you later. Bye.